Hi Queen Vic, Mr Braden here and we're going to look today at dividing using partitioning after this short intro. Okay, question one, we're going to have a look at 125 divided by 5. So if I flip my board over, I've already got my place value grid and my question written. So what does 125 mean? It means that we've got 100, means that we've got two tens and that we've got five ones. Okay, but to you be able to divide by five, I need to make it a little bit more pictorial. So I'm going to represent it using dots. So I've got 100, two tens and five ones okay my divisor is five so that means i need to make equal groups of five if i look at my hundreds i've only got one i can't make equal groups of five so i need to exchange that into tens and one ten is the same as so 100 is the same as 10 tens so i'm going to add in one two three four five six seven eight nine so now I've got my 100 represented as 10 tens. I can now make equal groups of 5. So I'm going to group in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which means I have two equal groups in my tens, but I've still got two that I need to exchange over. So now I've got two tens that I need to exchange into my ones. So I have 1 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There is my first ten. Now I need to use it for my second ten. Two, three, so now I have 25 dots in my ones column, which means I've got my two tens and my five ones. I now need to make five equal groups of five, hopefully. Two, three, four, and five. So now I've got five equal groups in my ones. So 125 divided by five is 25. There you go. Okay, question two. We've got 108 divided by four. I'm going to put that into a little bit of a context. So we've got 108 suites, and we're going to divide them between four friends. How many sweets would each person get? So, what does that mean? That means I've got my 100. I haven't got any 10s, but my 0 is my place value holder, so it needs to go in. And then I've got my 8 watts. Okay, and then I'm going to choose my pictorial representation of my dots again. So I've got 100, nothing there because it's 0. And then I've got my 8 ones. 3, 4, 5 six, seven, and eight. Okay, my divisor is four, so I need to make equal groups of four. I can't make any of my hundreds because I've only got one dot, so I need to exchange that over. This time I'm going to cross it out so I remote know that I've used it. That means that my 100 is the same as 10 tens. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Right, now I need to make equal groups of four. So I'm going to do one group of four, two groups of four. So that means I've got two complete groups of four, and then I've got two that have left over. So I'm going to exchange those into my ones. So this time I've got two tens that need to become ones. That means I've got 20 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And now I'm going to cross out these two so I know that I've used them. Again, my divisor is four, so I need to make equal groups of four. One group of four, two groups of four, three groups of four. Okay, now I'm going to count up how many equal groups of four I've made. I've got one equal group of four, 
two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So 108 divided by four is 27. If I flip it back over, 108 sweets divided by four friends, they would get 27 sweets each. And that's how you use flexible partitioning or partitioning for division. Okay, there's five questions for you to try yourself using the method I've just shown you. Question one, 126 divided by three. Question two is 114 divided by six. Question three, 154 divided by seven. Question four, 144 divided by nine. And question five is a little bit of a challenge. Zoe has to share 132 sweets equally between four bags. How many are in each bag? Pause the video here, use the method I've just shown you with the place value grid and partitioning, and I'll give you the answers in a minute. Okay, number one, 126 divided by three, you should have 42. Number two, 114 divided by six, you should have 19. Number three, 154 divided by seven should give you 22. Number four, 144 divided by nine should give you 16. Number five, just because there's not a lot of space there, I'm going to write it next to it. So it's 132 divided by four, and that should equal 33. So they get 33 sweets in a bag. Okay, I'm just going to show you this problem here. Sometimes it's not as easy as it looks. Okay, so... 122 divided by 5. That means I've got 100, two tens, and two ones. Meaning I've got 100, two tens, and two ones. This time my divisor is 5, so I can't equally share this one, so you need to move it and exchange it. So now my 100 is 10 tens. Cross it out so I know that I've used it. Equal groups of five. I have two equal groups of five, but I have two that are left over. So I now need to exchange that into my ones. Two tens into ones gives me 20 ones. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Cross out these two tens so I know that I've used them. Now, equal groups of five. I've got one, two, three, four, five. 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 So now I've got four equal groups of five. So I've got 24, but this time, I've got two that are remaining, two that are left over. So 122 divided by five is 24 remainder two. Okay, that was guys, thank you for tuning in. That was just a short uh, tutorial on how to use partitioning for division. If you do any at home, you may need to use a remainder and uh, use the links at the bottom. Send us any of your amazing work, we'd love to see it. See you again soon. Isn't it?